are some brave, brave people that willingly put their name at the beginning of this game. Hello everyone, Surat here again. And it's time for pain. Stare into the eyes of creepy house MD. Stare. I dare you stare at him. That's right. Some of you that are fans of House MD when it was on. So that would make you were fans, not our fans. Yeah, you could still be fans, I guess. But those of you that were fans of House MD during its eight season run may know that there is, yes, there is a Facebook game called House MD, and, well, it's kind of your typical Facebook do menial tasks over and over and over again to slowly advance something by doing other menial tasks over and over again. But years before that, I think three or four years, Legacy Interactive, I'm not sure who else besides Glyphic Entertainment, or whoever that group was you saw at the beginning, teamed up to make this, House MD, the game. Should be scared. But we're going to play this. I don't need to explain much. Other than I don't really think I'm going to be doing a ton of reading. I will leave up the text that pops up on screen, and oh, is there a lot of text that pops up on screen. At least long enough for me to read through it so I can remember the storylines of what I have played and learn the storylines of what I haven't which is more than what I have played so far. This is going to be a largely blind run once I get to a certain point. But anyway, yeah, there's a lot of talking, a lot of text, mini games, and me failing to do a lot of simple tasks here. But mostly pain. I'm delaying because I don't really want to hit play. So here's the fit never mind. Let's Oh, it's going to actually make me start there, isn't it? Hang on. Yes. Let's see. Profiles. There we go. I forgot. And now you can look at Creepy Chase. Look at Creepy Chase. Creepy Chase is creepy. Anyway. Now that I've selected a new file. In Malaysia, join me in the Age is just a state of mind. And he's even creepy in small form. And. Apparently, he's a nature show dude. That is suddenly feeling cold. Those of you that are in tune with the series whatsoever. Yeah, you know that this guy's about to collapse or start bleeding out of every orifice. And he will have to be saved by house. And Mr. Richter is being told it's 100 degrees even though he's being chilled. Yep, he's freezing. And no, he's not okay, because he's now coughing, and probably coughing blood, and can't breathe. Something's going on there. And a spider crawls away, as the film crew, instead of going to get help, wants to make sure they're getting this on film. For an Emmy. Such caring and compassionate. Globetrotting with Henry Richter. Oh, let's see what witty and acerbic comments House has for him. Loved you and Million Dollar Baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get to the, get to the chase here. Now let's get to this. Let's get to the meat of this game. Mini games. So we have to examine patient and look for signs of illness. This stage is a bunch of clicking on everything. So let's see, we're not on a timer, 
yet. Oh, let's see, there's a head there. Let's go ahead and grab the glove. No? No glove. So it wants me to use a glove. Okay, come on. There we go. You just had to find the right spot. Click and hold until, you know, the until it turns green there. Okay, we found that. We get to six. So we get a close-up of dude's naked chest here. So let's bring this, because we're probably going to need to listen to something. Yep. Wheezy cough. And what else? Breathing difficulty. Aren't those usually the same? So let's see. Now that we've done that, we can select a topic to ask about. So let's see. Let's see if he'll tell us about his sudden collapse. Where were you when you collapsed? In Malaysia, shooting an episode, okay. Which was the right choice. Picking the wrong choice leads you back to ask the question again, basically. At least if I'm remembering right. Nobody really cares, but you know. Yeah, let's see. Come on. There we go. Chest pain. And let's see. Since he's, you know, doing all that, let's keep him with on location here. Yeah, telling Malaysian kids to get off his damn lawn. Good house. It's the hotel. So nothing happened there. Let's see if he talks about his sore rib cage. Does it hurt? No. Okay, that did not work. So obviously we must select recent diet to continue. Ah, nice acerbic house. Lived off by who noodles and veggies in Malaysia. So that was the right tack. And we've got to get a better look at these bites here. Take bites. Put that down, go back. And now we got to go for his legs. Or it looks like he has a bite mark or something. Rat bite. So let's see. Let's talk about Malaysia. Any of the trendy exotic diseases? And 23 years ago, we caught malaria. Which was the right way. And now a photographer's taking pictures. That looks like Newman. The reporter of Scent. And who cares if he's a gay Taliban supporting witchcraft endorsing meth addict? Not me. You're all hard, house. That look. Oh, yeah. Now, you know, now everybody who saw the, uh, saw one of my anniversary videos knows why I used that look. Because that look was awesome. Creepy house. I'm going to talk about how creepy they are the whole time I play this. Yeah, that ought to give them something to write about, huh? So now what do we got? 71-year-old host is filming his episode of the show at a Malaysian temple. Falls unconscious. Henry Richter hosts a globetrotting investigating Mayan temples. Eh. Yep, ancient relic explores ancient relics. And here comes a fun part of this where we've got to look at the number of dots here and figure out a word that has enough letters to fill out the dots and fits what we've learned so far. While getting stared at by four creepy faces. Let's see, I don't remember the words. There is a correct word for each one, and each wrong one loses you points in a meaningless scale, so I won't care. Oh, let's see. Tuberculosis.
And of course, this is going to get shot down just like every other first thing anybody says in the show. No. Already been tested for it, so no, it does not count. So we've got to go through these. Eh. Even though they're going to be clearly wrong, we're still going to go through them because what good is House MD if we don't have House standing next to the whiteboard and griping at his assistance? No! I need the avian flu. There it is. You'll notice it slowly starts to fill up letters up at the top there. Avian flu describes that. Comes from the encounter of birds. And he has not been around birds recently, so new. Parchment face, huh? I wonder how many more old and wrinkly cracks you're going to go with this time. The upper limit is about 100, I think. So let's see, we have a seven letter word this time. And malaria. How has he not been tested for that? But he has been. Even though, you know, blah blah blah. So we need a long word. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, let's see which one is. Hmm. That one? Yes. Dengue fever common race seen in Malaysia. Very few of those symptoms and usually viral. So, what's a Malaysian word for next? Typhoid. Yeah, we're still doing this. Not central nervous system. Blah, blah, blah. Psychotic old man would be really entertaining right about now. Probably, I could see that. And here we gotta go again. Let's see. No, no, no. Hmm. There we go. I can't even completely say that second word there. Marnefi? Marnefi? Penicillin Marnefi? Something like that? I don't know. It's a word I can't say because I've never heard it before. So now we get to do a lung biopsy to test for Penicillin Marnefi. Which, after you notice, that was the sixth choice. We had to do that game six times to finally get the right one, and we got the right one each time. But we had to get, but we had to go through all the things so House could come up with one-liners, just like the show. And it gives us an A. Aww. I scored highly. And Creepy Wilson is also creepy. Two penalties, time bonus, 119 points. Okay. Okay. He was just in Malaysia, was not vaccinated for malaria or typhoid, and so something stinks besides his colostomy bag. So, people do talk stream tests for malaria, typhoid, and any other disease, blah, blah, blah. Which means we have just got another couple of uh, mini-games staring us in the face here. So we'll get through this. What is this now? Just need to run some tests. Episode? I've taped over 1,000 of them. <laughs> I'm clueless. And Drawing Blood is another minigame. And we get to do procedures. Pick up tourniquet, wrap it around upper arm. And... And now we have to do this. And 
until it tells us to stop. And then we grab this. Until it tells us to stop. Then we do this. Come on. Now remove the tourniquet. And it takes it away for us. And then we do that. And we keep doing this. And notice we don't, we keep getting instructions. Yeah, wasn't this great? Look at that. Oh, it's still a bright purple little line there in vain, I guess. And the band-aid. Oh, isn't that cute? It should have been a Snoopy band-aid. He was such a brave patient. It that doesn't look like blood was what you took from him, Foreman. It it really doesn't. I'm going to leave it on that face. I'm going to let that face right there haunt you until the end of your days. Or at least until tomorrow when we come back to look at it and it'll haunt you some more. So, until then, see you later, folks. Bye.